Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? I hope you're good, I hope you're peachy, I hope you're Stella, and I hope you're in a neat little bunch. Um, yeah. I just recorded like two seconds of the same message, or of the same introduction, and I realized we would that camera even though I prefer to use it. No uh, ma see? It's giving me grief, so I was just gonna settle for this one. My computer also just switched off on its own. It's like, you know what, whatever. I went to use the bathroom for like five seconds, and when I came back, it was like out here hanging out, and like I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything boulevard. And I'm like, you know what, guys? Alright, cool. Do what you wanna do. After all, it's the end of the world, so. <laughs> Spend yourselves like spread yourselves thin on the floor like a steamroller basically just juicing the plan and seeing as it's like on its way out and stuff Okay, so let me just put some caveats on them I may or may not be wearing some application makeup, but like why did you even shut on me? What is wrong? I don't think so. Are we wearing makeup? I don't I, like I look my smile suits me uh, Without there being fake makeup lipstick on my teeth. So like, you know, there's a time for everything It is written in God's Word even in the book of Ecclesiastes There's a time for a smile and a time for a frown otherwise known for as a time for peace and a time for war so since I'm at war with all y'all, where you ever seen a soldier out here rocking lipstick? Like, uh, guess I like, yeah, I better lipstick, cause I get to. Y'all can tell that there's been improvements up in this, like, monstrosity. There was stuff that I was busy publishing. Thoroughly, like, it was happening. And then you go and you make a decision to just shut on me. Got it, dude. That's what we're doing. Oh, whatever. It's the 31st of December, 2023. Guess who made it outside of 2023? Crank, hey. Because if I'm uploading this content, it's probably, like, the 2nd of Jan or something, or the 1st. And so, hey. <laughs> Your witchcraft was like It was a tree stomp You chose the bokisi and out came a wooden spoon But it's alright, you know it is the 31st of December 2023 and it is 2109 because I took forever and a day to come here and chat because I was busy gobbling some of, a whole bunch of my content alongside Netflix and then I realized it was all time. Yeah, because now for me there's no difference between birthdays, Christmases, New Year's Eves, all that jazz. Like it's totally like the same day. It, it doesn't matter. Same old, same old, same old routine. And I got to go I haven't worked out for a week and I feel like I've piled on a good 10 kilos grams it's a feeling not the reality obviously because then you'd be seeing it in my cheeks again okay? but because of that like since I gotta go back to working out so thank the Lord we're out of what you call a festive season what exactly about it is festive nothing you're still going through power cuts that are prolific from here to Timbuktu ain't nobody trying to celebrate that anywho did I make mention of my caveats Whatever, I may or may not be wearing makeup. I don't think so. Uh, but you know, it's up to you to make a decision if we did that or not. Yes, I mean, I don't dig it. Secondly, I've got this like um issue with uh, captions. They're not always accurate, you guys, you know. And I don't have time to edit them. I really don't. Don't nobody got time for any of that. Just like don't nobody got time to be dating a witch. Like what? <laughs> Anywho, yeah, but witches are actually warning me, guys. Yes, and these are signs. One of my nang nas kati so gyo seven zisa. And my terms, they are too extreme. Like wait, so how how holy hectic ko hectic? And I can anak ko yabo hectic. So I won't even give you the the glory or the honor of calling you a sorcerer because it's more appropriate or fit for a man. Hi, manu aloya umoloi. Hi, manu aloya. You're a witch, whether or not. You feel a little bit misgendered by the word witch, cause when I was out here, loyang, maloy ki maloy, witch ki witch. Whether or not ki sosara or sosare, it's like frankly, malo umaloy. I don't know how long mo. Eh, anywho, people are just trying to massacre a sister. A sister is not being massacred. Aga we. No, but y'all don't trust in Jesus, and like God has been surviving. Now we're about to enter into the 10th year of psychosis on the part of this nation that is South Africa And you wonder why it is that Morena Jesso has basically just kind of like, you know, promised you Oat biscuits slender again Yeah, 10th year in a row why is 
Marana, Linkense, Linkense, the tearing. Yeah, the tearing. Saoloi. Mudimu kima umtilivi le 10 years in a row. Not that there's anything to be proud of over there, because why am I spending like what, a whole 10th year in a row? Like going absolutely nowhere? Hmm. Mantaba mnya mayazin. I pay in one cent yen. Eh, the fed wits again. Kaha, ha, 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 Bulwa ira bula samurao. Kale kabina wezi king. Eh. Now the New Year's resolutions. That's what y'all should be doing out in these streets. Ka five four three two one. As soon as we get one, kale kachala hubina ke la si le butsoti. Like a wreck, like a wreck, na. Ke la si le bupanzula. Le bebe le ke ya e pesa. Ki tui le hara kobela. Le cheri se ke ya e shela. Ke la si le bupimpi. Le confession ke ya e yesa. Ma boni se ke ya ya. Ho ba jwe ta ho re ke toti. Ho ba ne bu toti. Bon ka ti si te ka ka rabo. Ke la si le butoti Le ke re ke ke ya e ke na Ke la si le bupanzula Le non ton to ke ya e si ya Ki filan ka re das to song e le twane lang si ke le labon That should be a new year's resolution Instead of the kri kia te twang mo fireworks Like twang mo ton Ano sa ke la si le butoti Le ke re ke ke ya e te na that's the more appropriate news in New Year's resolution. Cause everything else is like I'm almost starting. I'm almost totally hanging on green chapur din sang. Hey, but you're not going to be content. I'm not going to be able to Let's do that. I read the DJ. I read the DJ. Hi, but I'm going to be able to get the content. I'm going to be New Year's Eve. Yeah, ne? Yeah, the sun. So, yeah, the sun. Mara New Year's Day. Ke hale ka tadi resolution itseng kare di itseng sense. I'm sorry. Let me just go back to English, okay? It's the 30 odd there's my content. As well as you all fra. Like, eh, mara na ki sebi di zemo life in kya hoop la ki sebi itza. Kya hoop on like in all the memories. Don't live like people do. Next in content to hire you more life in. I'm republishing with the get more, get tired. I'm tired of people always asking me. What's happening? What's going on? They try to see what's in my head. Why can't they leave me alone? Yeah. It's about time you listen to Jesus Christ. Why? Cause let's go. Mm. All right, like I'm about to enter into 2024. As all are you. That's if you are making. And my thing about that is like, wait a king, unacceptable match. Otokelang huza mahuya tangwa na batu mona. Ha ito hira hala di deng wai because anari kita riki mona la mang. Ha iba niki le muloi o ala muloi hagana. Kumu ya tang mura long and nama lai finki bata huba jaka mura long. I'm sorry, y'all need to find the right role models. Currently, you just don't got them. I I I kena na ako. Ya ko mona la baro long. I keep getting the doors about rolling. Baba tango rekeba monela. So if you like a new year's high fever, can you like a lot of food to eat? Let us learn how to eat. Hmm. Can it? It's saying whatever eating and selling and selling your na high carry more life. So I'm mobile loying. The carry my tongue. Na ma ma di ma hielo anzalo apala mama si hugi filan carry so I'm on. Ori lo le mala carry. Lolly man, I'm laughing. My reality turned into a zahusai, zahusai, zahusai le mali. Guys, I'm exhausted. So much demonic attack. It's like yo, hey Batung. I wanna know, like, are you self practicing? Hmm. Because I'm trying to invest double labor, but can I marry the sangoma? Come on, guys. Now can we please talk like these sangomas? Don't y'all go on holiday? Like it is the holiday season. I need you, we holy. You holy, damn it. The caravan is alone, and I can't get a hold of Batu. So let me break this song. Let me break this song. I'm not just gonna fall out. Hold on, but transport. I want to start to make a fire. Fire, fire, fire. Let me tell you, keep turning. Let me blow my beach in. Let me want pina colada. My life in a vision. And just let me enjoy. Let me sing. I got the holiday season. Because Jack and Holly better keep the holiday season. I can't go on. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Anyway, it's the same thing I was complaining about on 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 Christmas Eve that these people don't be taking breaks even when it's like holiday season. Like yo. 
or the type of let's out here the holiday you can my man she cause the special the different i can look at over spectacular or the other then a little different shape i i can see whatever it is a little it's angry sham yali jimpa ele tlaka ntla tsese ele tlaka ntla tsese di tlhogo ga le sana ke re mayina ga le ditlhaloganye ga le di tshaba di pileng ga re bone ga le bone batho eh ntse ke kokwa ke 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 se ke se le se le fo fencing le bona di kokwane Oh mm, guys, it's impossible. Wait again, I'm exhausted. I'm really very exhausted. Like it's literally the 31st of December, New Year's Eve, and very soon we're going to be hearing Sopa and it's like what are you celebrating? Hi get hello hi, but then again, you know, I'm the only one actually living a dystopian lifestyle, but it does. It does. Uh, validate uh, scriptural veracity, making it clear that uh on the day when we're going through a whole bunch of trash, all y'all are going to be jumping up and down on some happy except there's like nothing joyful uh, and then the tables are gonna turn that's what's good like yeah the tables are gonna turn and then when that happens you're gonna be like oh snap like that done happen she told us to Ooh. because when the disciples mourn raging seas of a stormy nature mm, yeah no you guys celebrate but when we start to celebrate that's when you're like mm so if you like get like a table so it's a lot and I can reckon because right now we're going to have a lot of how will it to see got junk jail and a bag and now change ways again if you like the internet and you're away can you get up with a horror for level and it's not like a fucker on New Year's Eve can't think where I say why 2k and all this got long but I got it back I need internet in my life and get my whole life around with that anyway guys yes in some of blow man someone that's not so it's like if you like that one's a little bit like a new year's eve a monitor to see a whole lemon at the major i think we're no see but to make it at the hospital i would i like every year i'm being subjugated to tyranny of my family members one kenya daddy christmas little new year's eve bang bar it's like there's nothing to celebrate but at least this year by baby lady menace but am i so can no see major at the end home on a day wait to give you like a regular motor who own a property get deep seeing ya a Hi, Kelly Nosi Jana. Everything just works out cuz you done put me in so much loneliness that I don't prefer human company because it's all so posy fakey. Anywho. So, can New Year's Eve and I have begun it. Ke filang kare ke harra ka bala lentso la morana je so revele re tso monthong tse ringa ta. We're going to read you Luke 21 that you might understand what the grandchild see where and why it's actually irresponsible for you to be celebrating anything at all South African citizens. We're at war is that basic spiritually we're dying or if not already kind of to exist if anything i am the coroner maybe even the pathologist i could even be the person doing the autopsy out here in these streets and yet you thoroughly think that you are alive because there is still what you call breath in your lungs no it's a zombie apocalypse and the tribulation is going to make it clear that this is a zombie apocalypse i don't know why you're celebrating this country is falling if not fall in mara no y'all don't see that for a thing so i'm gonna like highlight it and if you think that i'm just super duper like you know bitter because my life sucks you're right yeah i'm bitter because my life sucks but why am i bitter because my life sucks because you suck yeah it's literally the basic you done did this to your own country you ruined it you destroyed it you trashed it you put it upside down you made it scratch its nails like a beast that has been discovered in the amazon trying to come out of a net that you put it in yeah that's what you done did to your country it's a beast trying to escape the clutch of god and i'm like to hell on to the snacks mara because the busy gun to the snacks are about look 21 so that by the time you appropriately react to the situation at hand you will be sobered by scripture if you like that email it's like i got it was almost like home put along those smiles do that be somber wear sackcloth ashes fast if you must make like Nineveh and just don't do the bad thing that you might not be decimated however you're gonna be decimated because you're not listening to Jesus so what we're gonna do is read you your total future is that basic I'm not singing because it makes me cringe okay and how do I YouTube with us about the hacker and guys? I just feel like it's everything of mine that is um, internet-y. It just needs to work real fast. I cannot have a girl on a live friends. Y'all know y'all send a lady SMS. It's a dumb. Can you hear? Like one of the gigi. I'm very like totally. What is it? Like bitter? Yeah. You done made me bitter, bitter, bitter. And I'm not even trying to deny that I'm bitter. Why? Because why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's talk about that. Why wouldn't I be bitter? I mean, you took away my life, my family, my career, my joy, my peace, my country, my soil. You took away my bath water. You even took away my good skin. You took away my tinted sunscreen, and so now I've got gray eyebrows. 
from like a white cast. You took all that away and granted that you've been taking stuff away. Mmm, I'm bitter. Like, yeah. So, of course, in all my bitterness, I'm going to be pouring water on your braai fire. Kotala me, zi mo haram yo bazi alo na ya braai. Molo, shmolo, kya le kalibala. The only fire that's going to be burning at you is the hellfire all up in your grill. Mmm. Ha kya le rante. I've been making that clear, Marana. Literally unstable. Like, if you like a hacker, so it's a hacker, not a valelona, a little telecopa, and make it bitter. Why wouldn't I be? But that's the thing, it's the apostasy. And when people are apostate across an entire country, they think that the one Christian that's out here crying bitterly about the insanity on the ground, that they're this anomaly that we must all just ignore and close our ears and pretend as if it's not there because really it's that rare. Ah, uh, when then it's rare to find a real Christian, that's when it's over for I don't know you. Mmm. It's called the great apostasy and y'all gonna be like experiencing tribulation in a minute. So Dabao the mighty beta gili one in South Africa is just evidence that we're at the very end of the end. So let's just read Luke 21. Luke 21. Hey uh from 10. Yeah. So that you can understand what's coming. Um Hore has it wholly appropriately somber now that you've gotten over your insane selves. Little upon a more life thing. Mmm. Got my appealed and everything. Hore Maranary Tahang. King and Gan and the Ricky Dizzy Lakayona. Another wine in the Rolla Mofa, Serita Haralaha. Wait, the Moto Alle Institutes. King and Gana and Nancy, he said exactly because Grandshap, you were supposed to be mourning, crying. We were supposed to be in a lot of pain and sorrow. We were supposed to appropriately wear sackcloth and ashes. We were supposed to just like, I don't know, do a better thing. Mara instead of the and now look at us be all ashy. Face beat your house, miss face beat what go TikTok. We yen se ka le ru li. He ba chun ki le ru ru. Ki le ru le la ru 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 ru. Le ru le. Ki face beat your house. If you like the blush, your thing is made up of poir and we're ready because the busy tipa tale kama flanga rona le chameleon and mohara di bows felt. Who ban antichrist ya lele kisa mara ho ke mohatla? We zeke nyanga tina ngama kundwa ne gugu siar manje. And now that gugu siar, you are appropriately responding to I don't know the gospel. Labor. I get to be why my life thing let 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 have you haka. Now na ta na ta aku na chabula pa anbon hanibon le sekere kanete as yala siakar. Yala si ni di dang. Oh, who look it? Kita lens and turn a lion. Kita lens. Nya ya marana ha gidu man leta ba yaw computer ha ya minaiza estara ha ha gana naki kupile Netflixi. Oh, kati ya minaiza. Wait, si naki batla huba kati kati gains. Wait, si kati lebo na jaga na ha hona birthday. Jaga na ha hona Christmas. Ha hona New Year's Eve. Jaga minaiza kati njefe la ke kati no pila 24 hours a day na ha ina matanta. So ke ha le naki tla ke lo ba pao follow. Cause lin tritle jaga pao follow. Ena jaga ha lin tritle jaga pao follow. Ki filan kare anarele te haba mahuat. King e gana eling fane. Talk to me! What are you laughing at? There is nothing to celebrate. All of these fireworks that we're about to hear, I'm sorry. Nah. Nah. Like just that. I don't know how mo no. Mmm. Kya hana mo laughing. Kya hana mo rahuluki. Le wait again ki keti. Le nei bara yami nai sa iya bona reki New Year's if hai na taba. And I'm so grateful for kisa rotin le giri nei bara vele vele. This nang taba juan ka New Year's. For years on the wrong. Kar mo di mo wa bona. Horo wana ka utle bo choko soko mo fari nei bara le bona jafala ka kusha piwa five four three two one mo cho upi zo shebe zidi taba. Ba juan lo gao fail. So join the party. I live in a complex of people who don't celebrate. Even next door, I've been I've been by I've been and I've been and I'm not proud nothing. How many times more? Like if you're more dystopian, live on a how many times wrong? It's like all of us, all of us are marooned on an island, and so we all appropriately respond to the matter at hand. However, in the far, far away distance, get you ready cricket and a young boy. In the far, far away distance, get you ready cricket and a young boy. Another way to be said cricket, but two of us so compare to the angle. The cricket, the kitty, kitty, kitty insect. Hey, my God, well, I'm gonna go for a toothpaste to go to Nike Colgate anyway. So how on a mesu go lamp? Let's just read from Luke 21, okay? Because that's what actually is going on over here. This is what you're gonna actually need to hear in the tribulation because we're entering into it. And I'm even surprised that we're in 2024 at this point because I'm like 2024, whatever. It's like four small. It's like four s'more. Oh, I would love a s'more right now. Oh, my God, it's a game of two cellulite. Then night, go and go to the nori, last year, right? 
Okay, right. Lanza Ria, hi, I'm on life in hurry, but you see, you see, you like to end the run up too. Little bit long, Bulati Paul, for long, yeah, and I give my talk of him, uh, game ring. Let's just like speak what it is that is whisper what we're speaking. I'm gonna like now revert to English. Those of you who didn't understand, that's just the thing. My message is for like tribulation saints, and from what the Lord showed me, there's gonna be out your sign language interpreters trying to help people understand what I'm saying, and also there's gonna be translators of what it is that I spoke in my language, so I no longer care to exercise tact and frankly speaking english if at all i don't feel like speaking english because when the tribulation hits somebody gonna take out the time to hook up some proper captions not the ones that are out here being inaccurate down below that people might be able to understand what i'm saying so hallelujah for me being relevant finally even though you initially acted like that wasn't a thing <laughs> all right let's read luke 21 any sense at all you know why because incorruptible and on top of that Narin Nakitariki Monela Juang Mutu Onangli Rabishi Ekanaka for Harabe Lona Lipilu ya Chichi Boy and Nakitariki Momena Monela Engi exactly. And Narikitariki Monela Mutu Wahubola Hakana waits a king him. Jang. And Kalu said, Zang, I need to carry the Hanya Molai thing, Hubani. Hakibon and Nakonsi Yahubani Mona, Haibani when a pillar Hahu Gan Chichi Boya. Pilla Hau Gan Lisilo Rula and a Janong Taka Happy Hahu Ili Alisilo Rula Ili. Wait, the Aboy Fisaya. Sayama Kata Mose Dratting Monana Jan Kitlob and Nariki instead Kabale Hana how Nakito Monela Kruga. Sikila Bonaga Moto Alo Monela Jason Wako Friday the Thetini or Ititla or Nor Kendi Mene Janka Hau Itikirulen Toya Hot Sabisa Hanka Nayat Habeha Nara Nakitla Riki Likiraka Mona for Seba for Engi. For Engi guys in his and Nan Kalu Setting Monawa Engi Molifing Ubodile Hagana. Nyan Kamara Akiri Umatakana. Jaka only matakana hakana na nariki trahu monela in your wants. How about you, little body, like you, Mara, I care and like him to a hotel monawa holibolosa. Colibolosa, little balloon like your little body, and no delas. Lobolo like our son, a hobola hona ho reversa. Jaka reversa yam clava. Bulo y balloon, na the trouble toy, I care. Who banded the water will be silly mora round. The table is a mora round. Mara Jack had a set of mora round jana. At least the hair had a sass my la who's really inappropriate to hotel as a kilaman. This is what I had on a departing camp. Kehalika to her like a little who beats up an abalona di Tehovan and noted last twenty banana lady by visible mantua who are loads and a cafe had a spiritual was a singer's a high sally. Why the gang in Los Swabi Swan, Janka, Chelsea Ban, Lord Jamie Swabi, so get you on like my life in her who draw like you. Mara Halima Mele Halle writes a little to little to go rubbish. Drag a hundred to go rubbish, John and Nako to Maluna Haki Rim. Eh, Harry Tolling Pilika Luke Ten and my life thing. Eh, twenty one from this ten. Jesus foretells wars and persecution. Like I keep on raising these things, I could also read Matthew twenty four. Mara, you know what? Mom pilu ni mo na kifilang kaya repetition in hubaning. Hale hale rute hiking. Hubaning leo wait hiking. Hale le sarat school. Hale ban sarat le sota di tabe ko school ngod. That's why ni pilu mi le mo pilu mi na isa mo na ko le rata ko sota di tabe ko ngod. Di tabe ko ngod. Shapo le rata pain. Le ba tuwa hobi masokisti. E ala rata ko tumbo ko tambo. Mo tunja fela kanza le biza le guara le lanza le happy. So, but I want to blow my head now, go lens. Matthew, Mark, twenty-one. Ooh, Luke, okay. Hey, but don't make me talk about it chronologically, baby. Let the gospel speak in some plan. Let's get to the point. All right, twenty-one, Luke. From 10, Jesus foretells wars and persecution so you can understand what's coming to you. And then I shall describe to you some pretty horrific dreams. I keep getting them and it's like, wow, can New Year's Eve, come on. Mara, that's the thing, even on holidays, you just, you're king chill. You can't just sit with them and beat you low, but so that you can come back at 10 again and be like, at least this year, because wait, you can cry everything and give up. Seeing as you were trying to silence Garabo, like Raylan Twenele, but like you got everything you want in your witchcraft, why then aren't you reclining your like body on a beach? God damn Hmm? Why is that tip singing the shop at the happy? Why is that tip singing the shop at the happy? Why is that that's where you're supposed to be on New Year's Eve, not God damn beach, because right now there's nothing to celebrate. There's no sun in the sky. Why is that tip singing the shop at the happy? Why is that tip singing the shop at the happy? Did you dang say, will you play them at Sansi? Kimala says, I'll be telling me that I have a very good thing. I have a gang, have a chung, get one, sir. Have a gabbing, and Jagasitunia get one, sir. Jagalitazi gabbing, and Kimala Sansi kissitunia. Eh, 
Mara Hane Tompi, no the last of Tompa Gangana Gire, eh, Udwella. Jesus foretells wars and persecution. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against a nation and kingdom against a kingdom. And I rely upon a deed, anyway, something of that nature. I hear a hala. Kupanja for a record thing, waiting in Halana mind sale. Halabana Hori Hui Halang right now. Banang Hira Halang, go Africa, da go Sudana. Someone shall bang no check and the fella no di lasuri, who are Halang, go Ukraine. Someone shall bang no check a fella no di lasuri, who are Halang, go Israel. Someone shall bang Banabako Yemeni Babis Bows, where he kept the American Israel. Eh, but to Hualwa, no, I get a boy in the bat rap, but to one of the rap and about two pana, we take Hana Motonang the rest. Bat rap, eh, my tongue. Hana might say, Oh, what rap you are more fatty, one about tobacco, and a maronally busy blow millions and busy glitters and literacy cricket. Lele, can shop give you Africa? If you could talk about your own, and I'm more around no more. My posting and I want to make a hack or low hand like it about a hundred of the terror war because one of the motor of it in the fellow Africa, I look drop a hand grenade, more hara union building. A about the terror walk or gone to the cocoa, the fat singing and a little local over the local local hagar. Which there are countries that are here. Yo, y'all don't understand just how much peace you got in South Africa. Like, God, but they did. You were basically declaring war on yourselves. You are declaring war on yourselves. This country has not had war in a minute. We're in Africa. It's one of the most war-trodden tr continents on, uh, on the earth. Middle East Africa. Oh, Agunam Pumulo da. Yeah, Agunam Pumulo. And yet you live in a part of Africa where there's barely any war. There was civil war, it was internal. It was a conflict. We've always had chill in that regard. In a very long time, I mean, we've had wars declared on us. When people trying to take our land and everything, and then like where they conquered us, that's what's good. After that, I like wars in this country have always been internal. They've always been civil. They've always been civil. And so now that we just want everybody just wants to get along. Why can't we all just get along? Come on. Seeing as you all want to just hang, chill, make like a flower and bloom. Yeah. Rarely ever do we have any wars in this country. But that's the thing about a country that is not that much, you know, afflicted by bombs landing and everybody threatening them with all different kinds of shows of power, displays of it by enemies threatening to just kind of smack you with a ballistic missile. The other day, I was listening to some news art, like, you know, clippy talking about how Kim Jong-un's 2024, like, threatening itinerary. Uh, looks to be facing all of its threats a lot to the US like you know when you plan for a threatening itinerary like you plan to threaten America in 2024 in the first quarter perhaps like this many intercontinental ballistic missiles are gonna land in the ocean but close enough to like freak America out and cause them to be like ah stop doing what you're doing and then Ungi does a similar plan against South Korea Uni does a similar plan against basically anybody at all that is his enemy and then they go and they shake hands with other people that absolutely hate America like a little bit of a China, a little bit of a pewdie pute there in Russia mm, people just planning to intimidate other countries where, when, under heaven, have we ever heard of a nation around South Africa or anywhere on the earth, really, trying to just, th like, planning an itinerary to threaten us? Just wasting a whole bunch of power, firepower, just to throw a missile in the sky in your flying area. Where have you ever heard of some kind of a Chinese sky balloon hovering around your country? When? Y'all don't got no war, South Africa. You gonna know what time it is. <laughs> That's what's funny. The fact that you don't see that you're in a whole bunch of trouble. What in the world though? King Kalun, I'm a life thing. Where's a life? Y'all don't have a Kim Jong-un basically promising that in the first quarter of 2024, he's just going to like hover around your airspace and not care that you've got problems with that. We don't have things chilling over our airspace and so much so. Does Africa not have issues like things chilling over our airspace and threats coming from all over the world trying to like take our land or whatever? Yeah, we don't have any such issues so much so that nobody even is investing in our military. Um, and so therefore, because nobody's investi investing in our military, uh, y'all know our men are just these like flaccid, namby, pamby, just kind of fluffy randos that can't run, they can't shoot a gun, they can't do anything. Yeah, uh, but war's coming, war's coming. 
I told y'all, thanks to all of this inequality in the country that is separating the rich from the poor, where it is that you've got Alex right next door to Santa, and as soon as the rapture has happened, there's going to be a civil war in the nation, and all of these untrained men, Gadi Kik and Pavaza Zabona in corporate South Africa, thinking that's what makes them powerful, are going to be overcome by people that have been trained, basically militant forcefulness, by their sorrowful lives, by how hard their lives are, by the fact that they're always running away from the police, given that they don't want to get arrested, given that they always have to rob everybody just to eat. Mm. These guys are gonna be stronger than ni nanga my kick and bubbles are new. And your beer bellies, you literally have the brazen audacity to have mukava. When you're about to enter into war, you won't be able to run. You won't be able to protect your wife from being ravished and your daughters. You're not gonna be able to do any such thing. And this war will have been brought on board for all of y'all to basically just enjoy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, being massacred by your own countrymen. Your own countrymen. That's what's good. Yeah. They're gonna pillage you and basically take your home and you won't be able to stand you might be able to shoot them like one or two or three or four down but then the whole massacre is like the whole horde of them is going to overpower you you know why because the poor are far outweigh in their numbers the wealthy the poor are far more numerous in number so even though you might be able to shoot them down with however many rounds you have in your rifles um the the, the front line of them the rest of them are going to like literally bring you low with whatever weapons they've got they're going to be able to bring you low with their clubs their um bats their what have you and they're gonna take your homes and restoration of peace from that place is not going to be fostered by your namby pamby non-war president he won't be able to save you which you just when all hairly hella violent against like white south africa won't be able to stand for you our government our country is not fit for war <laughs> Our country, our our police state, <laughs> it's gonna be laughable to try and like subdue the mob, the mob, the the, the mob, and no, not men in black, cause no, it's not an alien, but like the poor. The civil uprising from the poor in this country is going to be so prolific that you're going to wish you had listened to me, it's that basic. It's going to be prolific and given that we're not a military state, given that we're not like Israel, always are just, just you know, waiting, skating out, like skating, what is it, yeah, staking out our enemies, trying to see if they're all going to come at us, we, we, we don't have just like an automatic, like, weapons defense system just hovering over us like a dome. No, we don't got any such thing, so when the country falls into disarray, South Africa is going to not be able to appropriately respond. Only look at the small little hints of the civil war being suggested to you. Remember the lootings in KZN that commenced there? Yeah, that random province in the country where everything nasty starts at, everything nasty literally starts go KwaZulu. I even told you guys about that random cult doing its rounds in all of South Africa that's trying to like disenfranchise women for the sake of creating some kind of a seedy patriarchy. Yeah, it is no wonder they're the ones always getting flooded. Whatever. Yeah, KZN. Remember those lootings? How it is that afterwards, all these like wealthy Kwazulu white and Indian people were like, we're going to Australia. You remember like that joke at Trevor Noah? I'm leaving, I'm going to Australia, I'm going. When he was making a joke about after Mandela became president, well now, uh, got all those lootings, like yeah, wealthy white and Indian folk were literally trying to go to Australia. After that, they were trying to go to Australia, even though they first held out that the initial like exodus out of the country because of a black president, yeah, no, they, they wrote it out on some, no, let's see what happens. And then they sat around and then they got looted like no man's business by black neighborhoods that flooded into those regions as soon as the smallest little disturbance happened. As soon as the smallest little disturbance happened, there was a whole bunch of hard knock looting. And that was just a small hint. It made news all across the world. You will remember that time. That was just a small little pin drop in the ocean in comparison to what is going to come as a result of the rapture that looting i forgot what was the thing that sparked it but it was one little incident that made the whole country loot the whole country yeah but starting in guazulu and then afterwards indian folk and white folk were like i can't take this anymore i'm leaving south africa i want to go i want to go there was actually a whole report from Canada that so many like people, families, wealthy that could move in South Africa were trying to apply for, resi for residency in Canada. They were trying to apply for residency in Australia. They were trying to apply for residency in America, basically just anywhere but here. Because they could not deal with what they call black violence. Except all that black violence and all that black looting is a byproduct of the fact that our black government is not taking care of black people. And it has impoverished ever since apartheid ended black people more than any other single demographic. Uh, and it has also made sure that really poor black people live in close proximity to wealthy rest of South Africa. And that thing 
is causing a whole bunch of beef brewing in people's stomachs, right? Almost like bile about to rock up as hydrochloric acid. It all can't swim. Yeah, but for now, they're just kind of chill, hanging out, going from day to day, going through the moats. But one small little disturbance. This is like a game of Jenga. Do you understand? It's like a game of dominoes. The smallest little disturbance is going to break those barriers open. It is going to burst those banks and a flood is going to come into suburbia where it is that a civil war is going to be declared by the poor of the country on the middle class, the upper middle class and the wealthy. And seeing as this group of people are a tiny little minority in the whole of South Africa, you're going to be overrun. You're going to be overrun. And your little Salima Posa, whoever might be the newly elected president of the time, is not going to be able to, uh, like, subdue this mass cancer that has metastasized so terribly in the country. He's not going to be able to subdue it because he has never, ever invested too much in the military of the land. We don't have a strong army. We don't even have a strong police force. Our executive is laughable. They take bribes. All they can give us are what is this affidavits all they can do is certify our id documents they don't really actually affect their jobs as police officers you go and you report a case and don't know why they come back to you for like three weeks that is south africa for you so they so they they're, they're a police force is laughable and whatever military that we barely ever hear about is also laughable we don't have uh we're not a nuclear country i mean that is obvious right we also however do not have weaponry that we can i guess utilize in order to calm down chill down a, a riotous public mess messy affair going on all over the show so what you're going to basically be dealing with over here is so much chaos that even like you remember what happened in sri lanka yeah with with their president who it is that whose swimming pool was was basically just kind of overrun by by civilians getting fed up they went into his whole presidential palace or mansion or whatever and they just took it over they swung like sia on a chandelier on a chandelier they were swimming in his swimming pool like blending fruit with his blender chilling on his couch hanging out and maybe even like making out on his bed that was happening in sri lanka that's what's good and civilians were like overrun that particular ecosystem and they could and it took a minute for anybody to be able to get them out the president had to flee that's what your maposa or whoever might be chilling in presidency at the time is going to be dealing with that's what your julius malema is going to be dealing with that's what all of these politicians are going to be dealing with with them having also robbed especially the poor of things like electricity etc i could go on mm. they won't care to listen to their speeches it, they're gonna be unmanageable and given that they're gonna overrun the country nobody's going to finally bring peace and security to south africa except some one dude by the name of the antichrist you know how cyril ramaphosa right now be out here giving uh, america shade he's out here passing everybody shade that he can pass shade that he used to be his ally back in the day you know how cyril ramaphosa is also allying with all of these haters of israel i literally i can't i can't uh, that that for me has made my blood blood red like at some point my blood was purple because i was dying now it's red again because of Surah Ramaphosa. that's what's good mm. agatandi in israel he's out just standing for all of god's enemies and so i'm just like whatever Pff, do you like someone do you like okonengi Marilyn Miranda, you act as if though he's a great guy. Why? Because while it's here, he's out putting a COVID mask over his eyes during coronavirus. Yeah, that's the only thing that that guy's good for. Your Maposa has not done anything for this country, including all the other presidents that came before him. Uh, anyway, whatever. That Maposa guy uh, is going to make like the Sri Lankan president and flee. And with him having fled, right? poverty stricken of this country that are fed up with his lack of delivery in the nation, there's not going to be anybody that's going to take over the government from that place that is fit and appropriate if anything what's going to happen is what happened in what's going to happen is rather what happened in what you call this joint afghanistan where it is that after america pulled out we aren't here hanging out with talibani people chilling in like the presidential mansions of the country telling themselves that we run the show except they were they were aggressive they were abusive they were not why they they what did um, what does the taliban do when, when they took over afghanistan here it is that america had established some kind of you know um gentrified order in that joint and enabled young women in 
uh, Afghanistan to basically plan a future to one day become doctors because they could study now they could do what they wanted to do because America was making sure that they get given the liberties that I guess American women have and here it is that these girls now are happy to go from grade north to matric and then into university and say oh yes 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 I'm finally gonna be an accountant yes yes and then the Taliban rocks up and is like I'm sorry this is Sharia law time and what you're gonna do over here is I don't know leave I feel as if the, what are you doing you're not even wearing your hijab properly you could just get shot dead on the spot but I'll forgive you for the hijab not wearing thingy that you're doing but what you definitely cannot do is stay in this class to a point where Afghani boys in the universities or males in the universities were out to trying to riot very fruitlessly so um on behalf of their female fellow students on some point we're trying to progress please let our girls study let our girls study and the Taliban was like okay fine let them study but understand that if they continue to study they're gonna get a bullet in the head mm. so they couldn't carry on studying girls were taken out of school yeah that's what happens when all of a sudden law and order just kind of like you know pulls out of your land it's cantankerous and people do what they want rape just happens right there openly in the street and nobody comes to the rescue of the female mm. and so africa is going to enter into that chaos your pre your it's going to become anarchy your president is going to have to flee sri lanka vibes type setup thing his mansion is going to be swam in the pool off by some vagrants on the street or something and then all the other parties in the country that are going to want to you know just kind of take over the reins they're not going to be respected because what did you do for us in your opposition to the anc what did you do for us absolutely nothing and so just like the talibani what's going to happen is that some regular jane joe having put a little bit of like green dust on his face is going to sit in the presidential mansion and call himself president they're going to say this is now a civilian state we are the ones that are running the show over here and it's gonna be anarchy. So all the guys and girls by the kicking baboza by Mikaba that didn't teach themselves how to run. Yeah. Man and a lawyer. That's all you could do. Like just wave a magic wand. You're gonna be the ones running into corners hiding. Because you're not gonna be able to stand up against militia groups of people that are angry at all of this poverty that was induced on, in the land. So la singing la chwatla right now singing, swinging on chandeliers like Sia, thinking that you are grabbing a future that everybody else has been robbed from, except the very thing that you're doing to South Africa right now is gonna come back and like n nab you in the behind you're going to get a taliban type leadership force that is very tyrannical in the country and ain't no body going to be at peace until some dude is like oh, cool. i see your country's gone awry anyway whatever my name is ac otherwise known as antichrist what's up <laughs> uh i can install order i can i can i can give you order i see you don't have a very strong military because all of your soldiers are a little bit dead on the street over there they try to do the whole military thing but seeing as you didn't have my arsenal um it just kind of did not work out but anyway whatever i've got mighty army just say the word just say the word just say the word ladies and gentlemen and i got you i will restore order in this like silly wannabe police state that is not succeeding because the police of the police state are not strong enough to deal with the mob the antichrist is literally going to be making like how can i describe what's going to happen to south africa a freak to suit it's coming okay are you listening where am i yalla um parantanta yalla what am i tell diva as the var i di actually var i top the rooftop as the var as the var i as the var i where am i yalla as the var i what am I gonna like? Say that's the right. What I say, believe in me, that's the right. I'm that sexy, so I'm that the right. Now you better learn the song or else. That's the right. Give me to end, I get truth. Like it or not, this nation of yours is going to cease to be able to take care of itself. And so it's gonna make like Vladimir Putin, who was under normal circumstances so powerful over Iran that he could take care of Israel and not basically barge at what Iran has to say about Israel's presence in Syria. But then Putin put himself in a little bit of a bunch by going to war with the Ukraine and so started to suffer massive losses in his military and needed therefore Iran to be there on his back mm. and now it appears Iran is the one that's calling the shots to a point where after 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 Hamas went and invaded Israel Putin was like oh, oh, oh look 
I'm gonna go and host a delegation of a whole bunch of Hamas terrorists in my country because if I don't stand with Iran, who's gonna give me weapons for the Ukraine? Who? Who? So I'm sorry, Israel, even though I have not quite gone out on top of a roof and say that I'm totally against you. Bottom line is, at this point, I need those Iranian weapons in order to continue my war against the Ukraine. So I'm gonna 100% of this time, this time around, really just gonna stand with Iran. I'm gonna stand with Iran. I'm gonna stand with Iran. I'm gonna act like I'm a total Muslim as Vladimir Putin. It's a war of necessity. Hostilities now against Israel coming from Russia are only because Russia can't afford to go no against Iran. And the Antichrist is gonna be like Iran to South Africa. Yeah. The Antichrist is gonna be like Iran to South Africa. Look, y'all have no peace up in this joint, it's clear. So obvious, I don't know why in denial. Uh, but guess what, I've got weapons. I can handle all of these vagrants all up in your houses singing. See a song like a chandelier swinging in your own houses that you built with your blood, sweat and trauma. What, what I'm gonna do is restore order and peace, but you got to be mine now. I am going to wrap you around my finger. And then on me you're gonna linger. You're gonna linger, you're gonna linger on me, you're gonna linger. You know you're gonna be a fool for me. And I'm gonna wrap you around my finger. That even though I was a little horn, I was a little horn, just like Iran was the tiny horn. Mm. In comparison to Russia, now it's out here literally rising above Russia because Russia needs it in the war against the Ukraine. Don't you see? It's already happening. Like, all of the typologies are like splattered across the planet where tiny little horny countries, or like tiny little little horn countries, are able to now dictate the, 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 the what do you call this thing? The, 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 the ideology of bigger countries than them that used to call the shots. Only because these bigger countries now need them. Because absent of these bigger countries standing with these little countries, yeah, mm, these big countries are going to have uh, quite a lot of issues right uh, Iran is also helping Russia with what with proxies yeah like some Hezbollah fighters apparently went on right ahead to basically offer themselves up for um, Russia in the fight against the Ukraine it's gonna keep happening yeah so when South Africa gets thrown into this like devolution I mean it's definitely not an evolution it's some kind of a track backward it's like moonwalking like Michael Jackson it's going back it's back you know it mmm yeah with this devolution of the country that is South Africa what's going to happen is that ultimately this nation is going to put its tail between its legs where it is that its sovereignty is going to be taken away in exchange for any kind of semblance of peace everybody are in these streets that did not love the king that did not love what is this jesus christ everybody is going to just for any peace at all seeing as a civil war broke out as soon as the rapture happened everybody is going to grovel and beg for anybody that can borrow them an army anybody that can borrow them an army that's going to subdue this terror state the civilian state this mess all over the show the displacement of the south african president like proper that's a bar that's going to happen where it is that the poor are going to try are going to successfully displace the wealthy and our government offices are going to be empty there's not going to be a single party able to run the show and civilians are going to want to try to be president and out of desperation south africa is going to basically give its soul to the devil for peace this country is going to give its soul to usatani for peace and once this, the, the, the South Africa agrees to give its soul to this little horn guy, power, just to have peace, then there's going to be basically military might that's going to come in and handle that random vagrant chilling in your house swinging on a chandelier like Sia. Yeah. You're going to love him. You're going to, everybody going to love this guy. Everybody going to dig this dude. Everybody going to be like, yo, dude, dude, hey, AC, I want your autograph. They're going to be throwing panties at him like he's a celebrity. The Antichrist is going to be adored because he's going to prosper to foster peace across the world and countries where it is that things went so out of hand thanks to this like event that was so like prolific, so cataclysmic. Yeah, things would have gotten out of hand. Presidents will have been displaced. 